your question. Happy New Year! I haven't made a video in a good while and it is January 7th of 2020. So I figured, well, sorry for bad framing, I'm trying to put my seatbelt on. So I figured since I haven't made a video in a while, I would maybe try and do better this year to post more consistently. So here we go, the first video of 2020. church for a few hours went through a ton of mail all that stuff then I had to run some errands and now I'm going to meet Kayla and the kids at Target the kids got money from one of their aunts for Christmas and so they're going to get some toys and then the rest of the afternoon and evening, I'm helping Kayla get ready for a baby shower at our church for one of my wife's friends here at our church. She's having her first baby, so they're doing all that girl stuff tonight, and I get to help set up. So here we go, Target Bound. Hello. Yo. Hey, I'm fixing to leave over here. Okay, I just pulled up. Alright, love you. Love you. So, I am a, a youth director for a lot of our the churches in our area. And so, uh, I play in like youth events throughout the year and I represent the pastors in our area. It's a pretty cool deal. I've been doing it for a year now. I enjoy it. Um, this year we're doing some cool stuff. And if there's any section nine people watching this, July 23rd and 24th, you don't want to miss our section nine youth revival. I just now, when my wife was talking to me, or when my wife called me, or when I called my wife and was talking to her, my goodness, uh, I got confirmation from Brother Court Chavis that he will be preaching this back-to-school youth revival for us. So it's a two-night rally, J July 23rd and 24th. Guys, y'all don't want to miss it. Court Chavis from the Atlanta, Georgia area. Man, it's going to be fire. It's going to be so cool. More details to come on. So with this being the new year, I know that everybody has new goals, new resolutions. Maybe you're one of these people that have a word for the year. Um, whatever you have, I want to challenge you. I shared this with our church this past Sunday. Um, this is part of my sermon. Uh, but I just want to challenge you that this year, why don't you consider being faithful to church? More faithful than you've ever been. If you don't have a church, find a good Bible-believing church. 
find a good New Testament Pentecostal church, find a church that preaches the new birth salvation, and just be faithful. Just plug in. Give God in that church one year of your life. You'll be amazed at what happens. When you're faithful, when you don't necessarily have to be faithful, that brings a blessing on your life. In the Old Testament, Naomi and Ruth, they, these are two ladies who both lost their husband. Naomi lost her husband, and 10 years later, Naomi lost both of her sons. And so her two daughter-in-laws, obviously, were widowed. Naomi was telling her daughter-in-laws, look, go back and be with your family. Orpah did that. Ruth stayed with her mother-in-law, and her mother-in-law said, no, go, go, go. And Ruth said, no, your people are going to be my people. Your God is going to become my God. Ruth was just incredibly blessed because of that. Because of that, her son that she eventually had with her new husband, Boaz, uh, was in the genealogy of Jesus. You can read about him in Matthew chapter 1. That would have never happened if Ruth would not have stayed faithful when she didn't have to stay faithful or maybe when she didn't necessarily want to stay faithful. So you be faithful to church this year and watch as God will bless you. Hey, thanks once again for watching this video. I really appreciate each and every one of you for watching it. Thanks to each of my subscribers. If you're not a subscriber, why don't you consider subscribing to my videos like this video? Why don't you even share it? I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much. Have a happy 2020, everybody. So it's going to against me. Oh, yeah. Squeeze. Oh, this is what screen saver power. Okay, so let me see. Press screen saver.